Hello, I'm Simon and welcome to the CyRob YouTube channel. And in this video, it's going to be an automatic gearbox fluid change. To access the fill port for the gearbox fluid, just removing the air intake pipe work on this Volvo V70 2008 model, and then pulling off the air box, which is held in by a lug. The, uh, the fill port is just on top of the gearbox, just there on this one. It's a T55 Torx. Um, obviously, make sure you can open the fill port before draining any fluid out, otherwise uh, you'll be wasting your time. So now we know that I can get into the uh, fill port. Uh, the drain plug is located underneath. First you have to take out with a T40 the um, the fill um, the level plug and that will release an amount of fluid. The mileage on this car is 135,000 miles and uh, from all I can tell this is the first uh, fluid change so uh, as you can see it's pretty brown didn't smell too great and in terms of gear shift behavior it was just clinging onto the gears just a little bit longer than uh, you'd like before it changed up and the the gear changes weren't harsh but they were certainly noticeable before this fluid change so once you've taken out the um, the level plug you then need to take out the the drain plug and on this it's a 17 mil 17 17 mil allen so uh, highly unlikely to be in a standard toolbox i uh, had to get this separately cost about five pounds from amazon there'll be links in the video description for uh, for that particular key and then you just unscrew the the drain plug And pull it out and just let the rest of the fluid come out. Now doing this method of uh, regular drain and fills, I do three drain and fills on this. Um, you're not going to replace all of the gearbox fluid. I run through around about 10 litres of fresh fluid doing this particular uh, change. Um, and it improved the the quality of the gearbox oil you know quite a lot and you'll see that by the end the, the difference but I would recommend doing if, if your fluid looks like this until you can get it very very clear and red um, I'm probably going to be doing this again on the car when the owner's ready in around about two or three months So just letting the final drags here finish off draining out of the gearbox. And that's what's ended up in the drain pan just there. A nice mix of, it's, it's ready brown but it's uh, more brown than red. So I've put back in the, um, the drain plug just tighten that up uh, wrist tight because it's going to be coming on and off and put back in the uh, the level plug as well and that's in readiness to uh, put some fresh fluid in. Now the official method from Volvo for this particular box also includes uh, removing the gearbox fluid line that goes into the, uh, the cooler attached to the radiator. Um, but the access, uh, <laughs> the access looks fantastic on that picture. But in reality, the access is actually really, really poor, and um, you, you you can't actually get to the line for the gearbox cooler. So uh, you can see it's a um, access to it is hindered quite a lot by a boost pipe and uh, so that's a lot of dismantling for every single um, drain of the fluid so uh, so I decided to miss out that part because it just wasn't worth it. So this is the fluid that I used, um, it's uh, 10 litres of Manol um, ATF suitable for this particular gearbox but do always check compatibility yourself. 
and um, I got three liters out um, with the with the first drain. So getting the funnel into the top of the gearbox and uh, I basically poured in around about 3.2 3.3 liters of fresh fluid and so that will replace what was drained out plus add in a little bit more this box can handle um, extra fluid going in as long as you don't go crazy you can probably go you know another half liter to a liter on top because of how you then set the level later on but certainly for draining and flushing purposes um, this is perfectly safe to put in you know 3.2 3.3 liters each time um, and then drain it out and then repeat and and once you get going once you've got the car level that's probably you know i wouldn't say it takes the longest part but getting the car level takes a little bit of a while uh, off the ground because you need access underneath but once that's done the actual process of draining filling starting the engine going through the gearbox um positions all that kind of stuff you kind of get into a routine so it's it's not too bad a job really i was um of of always been pleasantly surprised with um, how nice a gearbox this is to work on in terms of fluid changes so i get the engine started obviously the drain plug has been put back in the fill plug um the um everything's you know secure there's going to be no fluid loss and i'm just skipping through this but you basically hold the gear position with your foot on the brake in each position for a couple of seconds move it across to the uh manual setting as well that's not shown in the video there but each of the gear positions for a couple of seconds and i do that i don't know maybe three four five times just to um, open up all the solenoids and uh, get the fluid going through and it's yeah like i say it's just repeat um th that process of, of draining and um you know getting the fresh fluid in running the gear through its its paces and then eventually you get a pretty decent looking colour if you look at that colour compared to the original colour that we first came out although it's not perfect that's a lot better fluid knocking around the box now and um, and the gearbox gear changes have improved dramatically so it's just speeding through this uh, this final drain here so this was the third drain if I remember right now I don't think I've recorded the second drain and that's the last of the waste fluid going in there so yeah that's uh, all the 10 litres or so that I've taken out so this is the final drain uh, sorry the final fill of the fluid now And I won't say you'll never get it looking as good coming out as it does going in, but that is the aim ultimately when you're doing drain and fills. It's to, you know, repeat the process enough to then have it in a good state. And then if you do it maybe every 40, 50,000 miles, something like that, uh, it's quite easy to keep on top of, but because this had done so many miles, 135,000 on on the original fluid, that's why it's taking you know so many goes to um, get the gearbox fluid looking good, and so I'll be repeating it in the future. So you've got a couple of options here. Um, so I'd pause the video and just have a read through this yourself. So the, you've got method one there and, um, and I'm showing method two and it's entirely up to you. So these are the parts, oddly enough, thanks to Volvo pricing these, these three seals cost, uh, two thirds of the price of the fluid. So these three seals are about 20 pounds from a seller on eBay. So you got the, uh, the drain plug um, washer, aluminium washer, and um, you fit that for the final, um, when you're in preparation for the final fill. Tiny O-ring there, that goes on the um, level plug. 
that's the final one that you fit though you um, you don't fit that until you've done the final leveling off of the fluid which I'll show you I'll show you that process at the end and then in the other bag you've got the um, the fill port uh, o-ring so yes yeah, so I'm using Vida on this which is Volvo software uh, so you must reset the gearbox counter uh, I've got a, a VCX tool plugged in which operates similar to DICE um, on a Volvo and communicates with the Vida software and you need the uh, gearbox oil temperature to be between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius so I've got the live data running on here and as you can see the oil temp in the gearbox is 53 degrees Celsius so that's absolutely perfect to um, go through the final process of running through the gears again well it's not just the gears it's the, the gear positions putting it into neutral putting it into park is just as important as cycling it through the others so we've got the engine running on this we've got the gearbox at the correct temperature and um, and this is the final uh, leveling off so you just remove just the center level plug now and um, and it will find its own level after well dependent on how much you've overfilled it because I've been quite conservative with how much I've put in I've not been putting in four liters each time because I'd run out of fluid with, with only having 10 liters um, the excess that drained out wasn't too bad I think it was about three four hundred mil something like that we'll see it in the jog in a second and then you do up the uh, the level plug only needs to be done wrist tight it's about eight to ten newton meters on that level plug so uh, you just wrist tight is fine and the uh, the o-ring the rubber o-ring does the rest and that's the fluid that's now in the box which um, you know after three drain and fills is a lot lot better than the original fluid that was uh, knocking around and considering the uh, fluid only cost 30 pounds well worth the effort and then the final job which I'm showing just here is to reset the gearbox counter so it's the gearbox oil counter and um, this is I would say essential it's also part of the official practice for this particular gearbox so it's a special feature within uh, Vida for doing that and you just need you need the engine off but you need the ignition on so I got a failed one the first time because it's a push a push button start and so when I turned the engine off it actually went back to position one so I just put the ignition on tried the reset again it's a very simple traffic light system so you really can't go wrong with this and um, once it's communicating and it's happy it will reset it and you get a nice big green light just there and the uh, the counter has been reset and so the the transmission control module will then take into account the fact that you've got fresh fluid in there and um, that will improve your changes massively uh, if you don't do that the transmission still thinks you've got old cruddy fluid and uh, uses a change profile accordingly so uh, do reset the counter in Vida and there's the uh, review from the owner very pleased and um, yeah it's a job well done and uh, highly recommended and I hope you find that useful